The P.O. Unboxing. Yeah. Hello, we're squished. Not really, not really squished that much. We're squished. I mean, it's not. It's you can we're see squished. the viewfinder. Squish. So that we're not like. We're in editing. Squeezed us in. In editing, crop squished. The the autofocus is having trouble finding our faces. Squished. Crop it. Edit it. So anyway, welcome back to another edition of PO Unboxing. It's been a while. We have a lot. Let's start. Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, you uh, you get started there. I've been wanting to for a while because I like I like opening things and it makes me feel happy. Yep. See, not the me like the various amounts of medication I'm on. <laughs> Just opening things. Opening things makes us happy. Overwatch took away the loot boxes, and now and now everything and now this is all we've got. Actually opening things. I watched three or four different videos yesterday that made me sad that Overwatch is dead and dumb and stupid and the fact that they... they this is from Stephanie Varallo. They, they promised a PvE and they didn't do it. So, okay, for the future people who might be watching this for some reason, um, Overwatch announced that they weren't putting in... The PvE, that was the whole reason for Overwatch 2. And I stopped playing Overwatch during Overwatch 1. Anyway, because I was like, fuck this. Fine, I'll come back if that comes out. And it never came out. So now I'm never playing it again. And I'm just looking for another new FPS. Because I need to get my shooty shooty booty on. Yeah, can't reach thing. Too fast. Anyway, you got something from Steffi? Yep. Probably ordered from someone else from a distributor. Because this is... A dark rye plushie. Ooh. Dark rye. Yep. Legendary Pokemon of your nightmares. I got what will be a uh, who, who the hell package this? Who the fuck is this guy? Ah, uh, it's ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> I just want to get it out. <laughs> okay, I got it out. Welcome to, po to, to a, today's PO Unboxing. We're titling this one Indistinct Screaming. <sighs> okay, um, this is a Valentine's. These are Valentine's of Sailor Moon. Say, what, uh, what month are we filming this in? June. It, it's... It, Current day is June. Season's greetings! <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> da, 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 Cynthia Roundtree sent this. It's been a while since we did this. Oh dear. Okay, so I'm opening something from Joel Garcia. All right, while you open that, to Lewis and Vega, may you now have a happy holidays and keep being your awesome selves. I'm sending this to you both before my next package is sent because I figured you'd appreciate a Christmas card. <laughs> Hopefully, I send you uh, the items I send you will be on your next film unboxing uh, video. Cynthia, aka I can't crop croc crawr. I'm sorry, I cannot read that. Mm. But thank you thank for the Christmas card. It's June. It's only six months until Christmas, sweetie. <laughs> I got a letter from Joel. Hi, Linkar. A few years ago, I sent the Star Trek Flesh and Stone comic. I must say, Star Trek Flesh. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> you later reviewed on your show, show. Thank you. Recently, when I bought a Power Ranger Steel book on clearance at Walmart, I realized it came with a comic. Ah. Since you would never review the film on History of Power Rangers, I decided to send this comic with the possibility of it getting reviewed on the show. Ah, my knife. The front has some damage from when I pulled off the sticker. I also included the Blu-ray, Steel book, and unredeemed digital copy. If you ever decide to review it, you could make you could use the steel book as a background prop since there's a good reason why it was on clearance. Mm. I also included this Trix Rabbits toy in case you review those Trix Rabbit comics. Nice. Ironically, this came in a box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So here's the fun thing about this comic because I heard about this, this Aftershock comic. This is actually a sequel to the 2017 movie. Huh. They included the sequel with the steel book. Is it because they were never going to film the sequel? They were never going to film the sequel. It's because the movie didn't do that well. Jerry, get out of the garbage. Jerry, stop being a goblin. 
Our cat's a goblin. Our cat is a goblin. Okay, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that yesterday I posted a drawing that was a dramatization of this motherfucking bitch-ass cat stealing my KFC. Now, unfortunately, she did not get to it, which is a good thing, considering she cannot she, eat. She was chewing on it through the box. She went through the box. Maybe that's she, why she was throwing up. She nibbled. She was nibbling. Maybe that's why she threw up today. But, yeah. Anyway, this is from Lynn McCaff McAfee. <laughs> Bitch stole my KFC off the table. Ahem. <clears throat> This is an official letter from the Kingdom of Latveria. We master all that lies before. All hail doom. Nah. Mr. Lovehog, our esteemed and beloved monarch, has taken an interest of how he has been depicted on your show. Enclosed is a more official mask of Dr. Victor Von Doom. Long may he reign. Lord Von Doom sends it with his personal regards from Christos Malachi. Let me show this off. Yes. It's actually a rubber mask, but check it out. Put it on. Doom! It's summer, so that means you'll sweat. Oh, good. Yay. This is really big for my head. It is. Look more like some sort of... I, I don't even know. I'm Doom! Okay. <laughs> New prop for the costume closet. Oh, I decided. I think it's... The thing is, people have sent me official masks before, and I can always 3D print a mask now. The truth is, I think it's funnier if I have the, if I have the cardboard one. Yep. Anyway, you got Nikki Doyle Wild Thing. Yep, I think that's issue two, because uh, I reviewed issue one a long time ago, and there's more letters from the person who sent us this rubber mask. Yep. Hey, Lewis, I intercepted this package for you through the interdimensional portal I keep in my coat closet. I figured I'd make sure it reaches its destination. I'm not, sh I'm for sure not risking the wrath of doom. I'm a huge fan of the show, and I hope this would be something you would enjoy. I found it in a costume shop that was going out of business years ago and recently rediscovered it while doing some spring cleaning. I mean to send it to you along with a copy of that Silver Surfer comic where he is chopped into pieces and an alien buys his ass, but I can't find a copy anywhere. Anyways, I hope this mask finds you well and you get some use out of it. I wouldn't actually wear it as the rubber, even out all these years later, really stinks. It didn't really smell all that bad. It was just, it was really huge. Yeah. So, real simulated Dr. Doom smell. Regards, mm -hmm. Tom Trombley, with the, uh, with a, with a black and white picture of the comic in question, where the Silver Surfer is cut up and his ass is sold. Lols. Anyway, I'm opening something from Adam Goss. It's minifigs and a letter. I mean, throw stuff away and then I'll read the letter. Yeah, if the, if you gave me the bag, I could throw stuff away. It's right here. Yeah, but it's like too out of reach. Oh my god, no it isn't. Yes it is. I have to be like... <laughs> yeah, it looks it's like I'm reaching for your junk instead. Yeah, that'll, that'll get the view count to go up. Love you. Hey again, Linkara. I hope you and Vega and the cats are well. Enclosed, you'll find four minifigures. One is a Power Ranger-style minifig Lego put out as part of one of their official series. Another is Snowflame! And the other two I think you just might recognize. I've also been working on a computer design for a small Lego atop the fourth wall set. I'll Ooh. gladly send you photos when it eventually gets made. Yes, please it's do. It's a little Linkara. And it's a little Poyo. This is from January. I don't recall you sending it. If you have, then great. It's a it's a Linkara and a Poyo. In oh, here. that's adorable. I love it. We... Oh my god, we should get out the Legos from the garage and then <coughs> make and build something and then put them in it. Mm. I just read, uh, two quick questions. I just read Doomsday Clock and I'm now stealing myself to read the button, which I didn't think to read first. You're not missing anything. And then discovered it was written by Tom King. I know you weren't a fan of Watchmen crossing over with the main DCU, but my only concern with the button is whether King actually tells a good story or if it's more like the awfulness of the gift and heroes in crisis. Especially the latter, given what he did to Wally West's character. It's just... It's nothing. The button is nothing. What do you think of the writing quality of the button? Is it better than King's other work, in your opinion? It's fine. Compared to stuff like Heroes in Crisis, it's fine, but, like, it's not good. Jerry, what are you doing? Uh, and she bumped it to the camera. Yes, now I gotta fix that. Why are you a goblin today? She is just, like, rubbing her face up against the garbage. She does like the scent of these bags. Because we got the special scented one. I've actually been trying to avoid that in case the scents are actually bad for them. Anyway, from our house to yours... At Christmas. Aww. And uh, wishing you and families and your families a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year from Richard and Elena Walt. Hmm. Uh, I am midway through reading Brian Michael Bendis' run of the Superman books. I'm mostly enjoying it, but definitely with some mixed feelings. What's your opinion junk. of his Superman work? I haven't really read any of it. Keep up the terrific work, and I hope by the time you get this letter and package that storylines have resumed, crossing my fingers. Best wishes to you all, Adam Goss. Working on it! <laughs> We got so many, I bet we have so many Christmas cards. 
Because mm. when was the last time we even did this? I want to say it was in December at least, or at least sometime sooner. Oh, wow, we got a lot of DVDs here. Yep, this is uh, from Amazon. Amazon Fulfillment. All right, so we have Common Rider Black. Which Black I believe Hill. is a series. That or RX got turned into Master Rider. Mm. We got Sonic the Hedgehog Comics, Test Run, and Zeddy Hunt. Nice. Mm. We got more, so uh, more Sonic with uh, Imposter Syndrome. Ooh. We got Godzilla vs. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Excellent. I got to do that at some point. Yes, I, you do. I think I've just been waiting for, for fans to patron it, but then again, I got to stop doing that. They, I mean, I still do haven't, they, I mean, they still haven't uh, uh, done, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. We, we got Sonic the Hedgehog Trauma Shattered Fire. Grid. Yeah. I think I started ripping the garbage bag. There. Yeah, just do it. Oh, here's Comrade Black on Blu-ray from Jerry. Thank, Thank you, Jerry. Jerry. Put grass and straws. Just do it. Oh my god. <laughs> if you don't know, that's just something from Rift Tracks. Uh, Rift Tracks. Ah, oh no. Now, of course, I got some of these opened already because I, I didn't really peek at them other than to, other than to see if they, it was like Mr. T comics I had ordered. So I don't remember, even remember what they are. This is from Kara Professor I Am Harmless. Ah! Yeah. We got Emerald Twilight, Green Lantern number 48, 49, and 50. I am actually doing a Patreon-sponsored review of this this year. So I got physical copies of it. Sweet. Yay. Put it aside so you know where it is. Yep. I got Dragon Ball Volume 7. Ooh. That I accidentally scratched on the spine. It happens. Oh. Look, as long as the contents are, are, are there, that's what's important. Yep. And, you know, I love Akira Toriyama, but I like some of his works that aren't... Uh, Dragon Ball, honestly. It's like Dragon Quest and stuff like that. Well, I was going to say Dr. Slump is my favorite. Dr. Slump, that's one. And now Chieri is attacking some pants. <sighs> oh, child's a goblin. But no indication of where it came from, though, unfortunately. But yeah, I looked. I still look to Akira Toriyama's work. Now, some of you don't know. Yes, he's known for Dragon Ball and stuff, but I want you to go look at some of his other work, like... Uh, Sandland and things like that. And oh, I actually already pulled out this. Actually, look at some of his mechanical designs because I think he really does like things like, you know, cars and cap all the capsule car stuff and like all this just stuff, you know, vehicles and things. I just love how he draws them. Where's my water that you took hostage? Ah, thank you. Yeah, we had a water off earlier. Because you couldn't find your knife and I had the knife. Yes, but I had the water. And then I had the knife, so give me the water. And then I had two knives. And then I held the held the water hostage. Hey, Cheery. You see what I have to go through? <laughs> oh my! Cheery just has the zoomies right now. She just got scared by Starfire, I think. Anyway, I'm opening something from Amazon. From Amazon. Luke. Amazon. Amazon. I've got something that I couldn't tell what it was from. Uh, Lewis, enclosed, I full <laughs> enclosed should be a full collection of the Mr. T and Me series of picture books. Hopefully this offering can help stave off disasters in the future. May the T-Force be with you, Skimono! Oh, Skimono! We love you, Skimono! Skimono has, has contributed a lot in the past to the Patreon, to uh, 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 tax drives, and just to the show in general. Sorry, the cats are still running around. But, but And now he has contributed the Mr. T and Me picture books! Wow. Are Beautiful. You, are you going to do those in just random videos? Want to have Mr. T as your buddy right down the block, around the corner, ready to help when you got trouble? Uh, or uh, when, when kids make fun of you? Or somebody's pushing you around or forcing you to say yes when you want to say no? The hand-me-down cap. Nice. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I love this. And so it still we got, remains being wholesome to this day. Indeed. And, we got, and now we've got material like that. Uh, you know, in addition to all the other Mr. T stuff. I actually finished the Mr. T, the next Mr. T review script. Anyway, we got a 2023 calendar in June. Woo! It's a collector's edition calendar with posters. Ooh. And six, it's, we, only, we got six months we could use this now. Yeah. <laughs> and the collector's edition, because, you know, because there's a huge market out there for, for, for Marvel calendars. Yeah, from, from years that already passed. Exactly. But you know what? I like the art, so yeah. yay. All right, I'm opening something from Nicholas Holland. This has got to take me a bit, because it is big and weird. I'm going to open up this letter here. 
from Stephen Schneers. Pardon for pronunciation if I got that wrong. Let's see if it's another Christmas card. It's a Christmas card. Let's find out. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry June, Miss, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy Pride. Happy Pride, Miss. Would I forget to give you a Christmas card? Inconceivable. Oh, no, that's so uh, Magic Steve. It's Magic Steve. Magic Steve, how you doing? May your holidays be full of cheer. I mean it. Have a ho ho wholesome holiday. Live well, friends. Check back. Anybody want a peanut? Yeah. Yeah, I always keep Magic Steve's Christmas cards because he always does something funny. We love Magic Steve. Yeah. <laughs> ah, damn it. I dropped it. <laughs> we'll get it. Anyway, here's a letter. Oh, there's a letter. Ah. A letter from Nicholas Holland while I look over his thing. Dear Louis slash Vega, happy holidays. Huge fan of both of you for a long time. Love oh, the work really? you do. Favorite episode is probably the Dragnet episode, roughly <laughs> when I started watching your content, and the history of Power that. Rangers, how I first found you on a site that will not be named, and yeah. Vega's con panels pre-COVID. Oh, really? Nice. This is the second time I'm sending you something. Going through my old stuff, I found some old Fox Kids magazines. I used to read those when I was younger. I never had the Fox Kids magazines. Hmm. Uh, maybe a quick, uh, quickie content in there. And random other comics, including Spider-Man, Sonic, Ooh. and Thor. Digimon issue! Woo! Uh, let's see. I figured you'd make better use of them than me, and since they're, and the, uh, sorry, uh, though, though the bigger shocker was finding a large chunk of the first two runs of the DC Lego Bionicle comics, figured you would make better use of them than me, and since there might be a good short material there. Not that I'm expecting a review of them. I have learned that a lot more people than I realize were really into Bionicle. Please have a good holiday and good luck in 2023 with the reviews from a longtime fan, Nicholas Holland. Thank you, Nick. All right, big thing. Uh, Cyber 6 is good. It holds up. I rewatched it like I think a couple years ago. Watch it. It is... Oh, I wish it got more popular so we could have more of this. Uh, Digimon. Fuck yeah, Digimon. I don't remember what Zyber 9 is, but whatever. That was a thing. Yeah. Then we got a bunch of Bionicle and some Spider-Man and some posters and a bookmark. A Star Wars bookmark. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Blast from the past. All right, you can put the garbage in our fresh bag here. Yeah. Oh. Reach for your junk. It's custom trash bags in front of you. Oh, my God. Junk reaching, screaming. Oh, my God. From Benjamin Fox. Hall. I'm going to open up this one. Uh, oh, by the way, we should announce that we're going to be at Too Many Games. We are going to be at Too Many Games. Uh, June 25th? 3rd, 4th, and 25th? I thought it was 25th through 27th. No. It's, it's in late June. It's, in 20, it's like the... I know it's the weekend of the 23rd because I'm going to miss Twin Cities Pride. Hmm. And I'm kind of sad. But I could always go to St. Paul Pride this weekend. It's just, I like Twin Cities Pride because Loring Park is really fun. Oh my god, Lancelot Link? Lancelot Link, Secret Chip. I'm very close to the, uh, to, I'm watching Knickknacks, which you should all watch. It's a, it's a show on Pop Arena, where, mm -hmm. which talks about every single show that ever aired on Nickelodeon. And I'm close to his Lancelot Link episode. We act like... I remember we were, because they showed this very briefly on Nickelodeon, and I remember watching it, and your dad remembered it, so we ended up watching it at one of the family gatherings. It's bad. It is bad, but it was fun to make fun of while watching. Yeah, quite a bit here. We got Daredevil. Yep. We got Iron Man Ho Ho Homicide. We got Weapon Plus. Weapon Plus. Mighty is, Crusaders, is that, which is Archie's uh, superheroes. Is Weapon Plus what we call America? No. <laughs> uh, Vampirella The Punisher Summer Special Crazy from the Heat And it is summer uh, Witchblade and Electra. Nice oh, the, the comics are, are, are falling down Here, Electra. Give me, give me those <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yes there another one that fell down? Yes, there was, right? There. Weapon Plus is my favorite streaming service. Electro Razor Fist. I can watch all sorts of things about weapons. Tarzan. Yeah. Uh, Saturday Morning <laughs> Adventures, Dungeons and Dragons. I'm sorry, this model just does not look Tarzan-esque. And I think we have the first copy, of, uh, a copy of this somewhere. Avatar's Covenant of the Shield. Just like a weird uh, Avengers reimagined as Knights thing. I like the art style. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Benjamin Hall. 
I'm opening something from Wesley Brown. All right, what does Wesley Brown have for us? Wesley. Wesley Brown, what do you have for us? It is manga. The girl I want is so handsome. <laughs> yes, this is very much up my alley. This a Yuri comedy good. about a hyper-fresher student and the hot jock girl she's crunch it, crushing on. Yes, I think I've saw, I flipped through this in the bookstore at one point, but I didn't buy it because like... No! No! What's she doing? She's biting on the garbage bag. Why are you doing this? But yes, I'm all about this sort of st these sort of stories. I freaking... I'm a big Yuri fan as much... As much as I am a Yaoi fan, and I especially love Yuri and Yaoi comedies. And Seven Seas has just been putting out a lot. So, yay. I put the garbage on top of the garbage. So hopefully harder for her to eat it. Or climb to Here, it. Why don't you break down the box while I read this letter from Jeffrey S. Piat, or rather this Christmas card from Jeffrey Piat. Mm. It's difficult to open. To Lewis and Vega, sending Christmas wishes your way for lots, uh, for lots of joy in your heart from Jeffrey. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Jeffrey. <laughs> I got another postcard here. Uh, we got this uh, kind of lenticular ostrich from the Topeka Zoo. Yay. Uh, dear Lewis and Vega, if you're reading this, then the Sailor Moon Valentine's and Thundercats comics should have arrived months ago. Toodles. Yay. They did. From Gabby George. Thank you. You know, I want to go to the zoo. It's been a while. Mm. We we have the Minneapolis Zoo, which is really fun. It's just I haven't been there for, since um since we were dating. Holy crap! Anyway, I'm opening something from I don't know. I think it I know. Doesn't have a name. I think I know what this is, which is making me laugh and kind and kind of cry. What? Oh, uh, we'll see in a moment if I'm right. Is it a mug with butts on it? No. I opened a gift from a friend, and it was a mug with butts, and it's like one of my favorite mugs. Oh my god. The butts are also rainbow. <sighs> Happy bread! What is this? Some kind of pillow? A wig? I don't... It's not a wig. It looks like a Cheeto? I... Oh yeah, I think that's a Cheeto. No, I think it's a chicken nugget? I think it's a chicken nugget. Lewis, I think it's a chicken nugget. <laughs> Eat it. Um, yum. In Minnesota, chicken nugget eats you. You know what this is? What? I order I knew I had ordered some of Voice from the Dark CDs for Anime Boston. And you didn't look look? I did look. I couldn't find them. You didn't look at any CD size box? Does this, does this look like a CD size box to you? It just looks like a box. Yeah, it's filled with CDs. So anyway, I have a lot of uh, copies of A Voice from the Dark now for uh, for Too Many Games, which you should be coming to. It's a chicken nugget. Yes. I think. Okay, uh, people in the YouTube comment section, is this a chicken nugget? Pretty sure it's a Cheeto. It's not a Cheeto. How do you know? Because Cheetos are thinner. It, yeah, but it's a pillow, too. If it too, was this so. thin, then it would be a Cheeto. But it's not. It's but it's designed thing. to be a pillow, too. So it's like a, like a close-up of a Cheeto. It's not. It's a chicken nugget. What do you think it is, comments? Because this is... This is John Cuccinello! Wait, his name's John Cuccinello? Cuccinello. Oh. It's like, Cuccinello. Anyway, I'm opening something from... Right... Stoof? No, right stuff. Right Barbarella stuff. holiday special. Very fitting for uh, Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> what better way to say Merry Christmas? Is she chasing ghosts? What? Yeah, cats can see ghosts. You don't I, know that? I know, but she keeps Go looking. Not goats. Ghosts. Go ghosts. Ghosts. I can't speak. I have the... I cannot... Why do people like watching us? We're terrible. We just keep being distracted by our cats. I don't know. I, if you're watching, please comment why. Anyway, I got. Ooh, can I show this? Okay. Does it count if you lose your virginity to an android? Uh, yes. Yes. If they have the parts, yes. Actually, you know what? It depends on how sentient the android is. Yes, that's a good point. If they're if if it's not sentient, then it's just a sex doll, and it's not. But if it's like kind of like 
human like sentience, then <laughs> it would be not a sex doll but a robot. And I guess you could say yes, you lose lost your virginity to that. Okay, this is a cool science. Now this is cool. It's a copy of American McGee's Alice. Nice. Nice. You should uh, play that on stream. I should. I didn't play this when I was a kid, but we, but I always wanted to. Graham, my brother, played it, a, played it a bunch. And we were... And back in the day, the idea of darker uh, Alice in Wonderland content was kind of a novelty. Yeah. So, like, this was so cool for us back then. Nowadays, it's nothing special in that regard, but the game itself is still really good. When I was a young baby bat, I wanted to play it, but I just didn't have the thing to. Mm. Like, I didn't have any money to. It just sounded awesome. Mm. <coughs> All right, so something from Right Stoof again. Yeah, no, no name, unfortunately, from for who sent this, unfortunately. But Wait, thank you, whoever sent us American McGee's Alice. It looks like it's... Is that from Britain? Might be, but but the, but the, but the thing did not indicate no, I Britain. Mean, I know, the letter did not indicate Britain. Yeah, but the stamp was... There was nothing on it that indicated especially like where it came from. Oh, okay. Because so the stamp looked... Uh, yeah, okay. It was just the stamp was of the Queen, so yeah. I was like, huh. That could mean Canada. That is tr true. And I guess when the Queen died, everyone got stamps. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, this is the first PO unboxing... With a new ruler, I guess. <laughs> From Samuel Shusky. You've comments and a letter. Oh, yay. A letter here first. Uh, greetings. First off, I need to award bonus points to Vega. You oh. may not remember, but I sent a package uh, in the video, The Necklace Saga. On her first try, she pronounced my last name correctly. Yay. Uh, most people get it wrong. Just for reference, the, the to pronounce it, uh... Hustly with a S on front of it. Mm. So, Shusky, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I can't actually look at it again. Yay! Thank you. Yep, let me uh, read this again. Yeah, Shusky. Namekawa san won't take a lickin! It's Husky that you are talking so Shusky, yeah. Uh, one quick question, if you do not mind answering, what is what are some of your guilty pleasure comics? Uh, first instance, mine would be Pit and Cyberforce. Thank you for your time. Your fan, Samuel Shusky. Okay, guilty pleasure. You want to go first? Uh, I don't really have any guilty pleasure comics. I do have some guilty pleasure, but uh, most of it is just mo comics and manga I loved at one point, but then I realized was a bit problematic decades later. Mm. Like, uh, there's this one graphic novel called The Cute Girl Network, which... You know, I like it, but also one of the main protagonists is very ableist, and it's kind of really obvious that the main character has ADHD, mm. and that makes me uncomfortable because I have ADHD. And then another one I liked is this yaoi where um, all these, like, there's three guys who are also dating three other guys, but one of the guys is actually three guys in one person, and I feel like, you know, this... Is probably kind of problematic, especially for people with DID, but I'm not sure. It just feels kind of weird, but at the same time, it's a really good comedy. So I feel weird about it, and it's like, yeah. So yeah, my guilty pleasure is all about comics I liked at one point, but then decades later, I realized are problematic in some way. Mm. Oh, non somewhat guilty, non-guilty pleasure there's a stupid Christian comic called Serenity that someone actually sent all the volumes of, and I actually reread some of it the other day. It made me so angry I wanted to throw it across the room because, holy shit, it's horrible. It's so horrible. God damn it. That, why did they feed us this shit when I was in fucking churchy church time camp thing? Churchy church time camp. Is that the official name? <laughs> yeah, let's call it that. It is so bad. It is so... Problem that I could, I couldn't get through one chapter without thinking of paragraphs to rant on it, but yet I, I still read it because it reminds me of those <clears throat> like young weeaboo times where you could just make anything that looks like manga and I would eat it up. Say what you got there. Oh, Asumi Chan is interested in lesbian brothels. Good for her. Yes, that's a really great hobby, lesbian brothels. I got sleepwalkers, <laughs> sleepwalker, Captain Adam. Oh and a bunch of reprints of a uh, 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 popular characters. We got Cable and the New Mutants. Oh, cool! Uh, all new Wolverine number one. Cool. Wolverine number one. Hmm. Then uh, Outcast hey, Saga. Uh. 
And a free comic book day, The Only Living Boy. Hmm. Yeah, we didn't get to go to free comic book day this year. Yeah, it was just, we were ah, just really busy with a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I opened something that was already opened. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers. Do, 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 do. I think it's the second one, actually. There's It's two in there. So yeah, they had two crossovers. Oh, yay. Go, go, Power Rangers. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Okay, and I'm opening something that's already been opened by Vault 35. I got something from Amazon uh, Fulfillment Services that is handled with kit with with cheer. So I think this is another Christmas one. Yep, and this is a Rick and Morty comic. <laughs> you like Rick and Morty? I do. <laughs> oh, it's their hundredth issue. <laughs> this is something from Jeffrey Piet. I'm trying to get to the trash bag. Yeah, sorry, I put a new trash bag in. Okay, um. I'm not sure why you sent this to us, Jeffrey Piet. What is it? I want you to try to guess what this is. I know what it is, but you can identify it. Oh, it's for cutting things. Yes, but specifically, what is it specifically for cutting? Tape. Not really. It's not a tape splitter? I mean, not in the way you're thinking of, probably. People? Nope. Mom? Nope. Mom, mom? Disposable film cutter. Huh. So, Jeffrey, I'm not sure why you sent us this, but okay. Uh, yeah, we don't really edit the uh, old traditional way. Yeah, no, it's, we're all digital. I don't think I, ed I know anyone who's ever ordered, like, edited the old traditional way. Hmm. Maybe felt some film school students, but... Here, we'll take that with us and give it to uh, James Rolfe when we go uh, at Too Many Games. <laughs> He'll do that. Really? Well, I don't know if he does it like on a regular, but but he's got a bunch of old film reels. Mm. The man, the man loves his traditional media. Get out of there! Chieri is being very goblin esque. What is your obsession with garbage bags? Toss them on the deck. Yes, toss them on the deck. Anyway, I'll read a letter while um, our daughter acts up again. <sighs> Honestly, I think I just need to give her another good half hour of just playing so she could get that energy out. Honestly, she should be napping right now. <sighs> anyway, dear Louis and Vega, how's the new year treating you so far? Mine has been decent for the most part. I unfortunately lost an uncle due to a heart attack. I'm so sorry. But I'm trying to hold back the negative and depressing thoughts. If this letter reaches you after March, congrats on getting the Sandman retrospective video art on YouTube. Well, April, but still, I get, but I appreciate it anyway. Here's the comics I'm sending you to the P.O. Box. Amazing Spider-Man number one. Amazing Spider-Man... Wait. Amazing Spider-Man number 238. A.K.A. the first appearance of Hobgoblin. Hmm. Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. What, what you do you do with those hobgoblins? Hobgoblin. They're over here. They're over there. The darn hobs are everywhere. Yeah. And Marvel Family Comics number one, a.k.a. the first appearance of Black Adam. Hmm. I hope everything goes well for a top of her fall this year and hope for you and Vega to have a nice day. Thank you so much. By Edgar B. Hmm. Well, from Edgar B. Yeah. P.S. Honey Britch's pony is best pony. Yes, she is. Throwing away letter. So anyway, Common Rider Kuga. Ooh, cool. Hmm. That was from eBay. Cool. eBay is best bay. <laughs> All right, so we got from Joshua Idleweiss. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Something. Easter. Mr. Mi Mr. Mr. Easter. It's a bunny comic. You think you should talk about it on Easter? Come on down, it's time to party with Archie and friends. No. We do not party with Archie and friends. <laughs> we party with Garfield and friends. Archie. You've never got into Archie, right? No, I... Archie's popularity baffles me. So, can I tell y'all a secret? So, there was a bunch of old comics in my cousin-in-law's room, and a lot of them were Archie. And he didn't want me to read them. I guess because he thought they had value or something. Mm -hmm. But honestly, if they, something had value, why would you just put them in a pal in the bedroom instead of, you know, putting them in, you know, like board, bag and boards? It was the 90s. Yeah. But I would sneak in and, like, take them and read them. So that's how I got into Archie at, like, a young age. 
And I mean, they sold Archie Digest in the, like, uh, what's it called? Supermarket and stuff. Hmm. Anyway, we got Sergio Ar Argone's Gru. Gods nice. against Gru. I got a Blastoise. Jerry, catch! She looked over like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Blastoise. Well, at least it's not a Bulbasaur. Send Bulbasaurs. Do not send him Bulbasaurs. Send me more Bulbasaurs. We have too many damn Bulbasaurs in this house, and now he's printing his own Bulbasaurs. I can. I think we need more Bulbasaurs. We do not need any more Bulbasaurs. Do not need... send Lewis any Bulbasaurs. Send me all. Don't you Bulbasaurs. give Bulbasaurs to Lewis? No, 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 there ain't no way. No, 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 give me no Bulbasaur. I want more Bulbasaurs. <laughs> You people bring matches for Mikey? No one don't you bring matches for Mikey! Shut up, Mikey! Shut up! I don't people to bring the matches to Mikey! I don't care what Mikey said or Mikey do! What do we got there? We got from Grub, Joker. Uh, I'll just put that on the movie shelf. Uh, Over there. Thank uh, you though, whoever did send it. that. I dropped it. Uh Ah, okay, this is this is something. This is I'm actually gonna let you open this because this is all you. Oh, okay, here. You can check this out. You're going to be really happy with this. It's already open anyway. All right, so this is from RG Sellers. And I've got Ayakashi <gasps> Triangle here. But forget about that. Why don't you show off to the people what you got there? Because I know you're out. You're Spy X Family! She really likes Spy X Family. This was like my favorite anime the season it came out. And I finished season two not too long ago. And I was like, man, I should really get the manga. But I don't have any of the manga. And plus, you know, I only collect maybe two, three or four series a year. Because money, you know? Mm. But now I have Bikes Family! <laughs> like what, eight uh, volumes right there? Eight volumes! It's like just the full, full first eight volumes. Now I can compare, like... Because one thing I've been liking doing recently, like with uh, Oshinoko is comparing the anime adaptation adaptation to the manga as the episodes come out. So I'll reread that part and then and watch the episode. And I'm like, I just like doing that for some reason. Sometimes you'll see that on my Twitter. My Twitter is at uh, Vega for my regular Weeaboo Twitter and at Vega's Art Room for my art Twitter. Anyway, I got Spy X Family. So I was so obsessed with the show for a while uh, my favorite character is Anya, obviously. Your is my waifu and uh, is wife material for me. Sorry, Louis, if your came in and she, like, killed you and uh, asked me to marry her, I will. Do you at least give a little bit of a delay before you do so? She's an assassin. She doesn't delay. Fair enough. Anyway, <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff from Cynthia Roundtree here. For got Christmas! For Christmas! This Christmas! Be a, this be a nice uh, little decoration for the set. Uh, third favorite character is uh, Anya's bro, because he's just so freaking weird. Pelpix. And I mean, yes, Lloyd. Oh, Pelpix. Fire types. Send more fire types. Fire. T what the heck is that? I don't know. I think this is a My Hero Academia thing. I don't know. It, it's a thing. Yeah, I think it's a plant type, so, um, you know, this one trumps it. <sighs> <laughs> oh, it's Dr. Cortex. Uh, I think he's also weak to fire types. I don't know what this is. You never played Crash Bandicoot? Nope. I got a letter. Can you believe this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? I got a lot of manga in here. <laughs> Woo! I'll but I got at, a letter. I'll look at that as soon as I stop drooling over this. Hey, Lewis and Vega, Cynthia again. How are the two of you doing the ho during the holidays? I wanted to thank you both for your excellent content. During Let me show the, those off. During the holidays. Which gets me through the drudgery of working retail, especially huh. especially during the holidays. We already have this one. It's um, part of your long box collection. Oh, what is that? Let me see. Vampire Kisses? Oh, nice. Did you already review it for long I box? don't think I did, no. Mm, you should. Mm. Okay, let's see. Go let's ahead. See, what were they? Uh, thank you. And if you're curious where I work, I'll tell you. It rhymes with Walmart. Anyway, on to the items I've sent. Firstly... You don't have volume two, though. Since you're such an admirer of Jinji Ito, and I'm kind of a wuss, I've gifted you a rather creepy shirt I got from October Loot Crate. Here, show off the shirt. Yeah, show what the shirt's got here. Oh, we definitely don't have the rest of the Vampire Kisses books. I didn't even know this many came out. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the name of this one. It's like, a, it's like the blood plant. Let me see. Oh, cool. If you're not going to wear this, I'll wear it. I'll probably wear this. 
I think it's, it's a 2XL. Cool. It'll, it'll fit me. I think it's cool. I like it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, check this out. This thing they made. Ah, uh, where was I? Secondly, if you recall, several years ago I donated volume one of the Devil May Cry 3 manga, as well as a volume of Tokyo Pop's manga adaptation of the uh, young adult vampire novel by Ellen Schreiber, Vampire Kisses, called Blood Relatives. And since then, I collected the volumes, read them, and since I wanted to confuse, irritate, or discuss Moarte, he he Sorry, something in my throat. It's still better than Twilight. Here, marry me. Okay. Put on the ring finger. Oops. It's just a tradition. She's burying me, guys. Oh my god, look at her. <laughs> also, this is actually... This is, oh, actually, this is stuck? We'll get it off in a minute. Oh my god. This is not designed for a male, for a male uh, finger. Unfortunately, I already have volume one of this. Of a uh, toilet bound Hanako Kun. Yeah, sorry. The toilet ghost! <laughs> Uh, next, since you reacted positively to the hollow card I sent you, uh, here's volume one of Toilet Bound, Hanako Kun. Now to add more long box fodder, here's Nightmare Before Christmas, Mirror Moon, an adorable Vulpix plushie I ordered from GameStop, yeah. and like the Pokemon games, you may rename them uh, however you'd like. A lovely cosplay piece from Black Butler, a silver ring ah. with a blue gem, which is what is now stuck on my finger. Don't worry, it's not cursed, it's, I'm not that mean. Well, you say that, but can you try to get that off of me? Yeah, I haven't, I only read, ooh. A loose oh, Funko dear. Pop of Neo Periwinkle Cortex from Crash Bandicoot. And finally, this odd plushie I got from a random loot crate. Don't know Dr. Stone that well. Okay, so that's from Dr. Stone. Uh, uh, so here you go, as well as a snowman beanie baby. Quick questions. Vega, have you seen Diabolic Lovers? No. Lewis, what's your favorite Pokemon starter? Bulbasaur. Uh, you both have a happy holidays. Cynthia, a.k.a. CR something 92. I'm sorry, I, I, the, the, the lettering there, I cannot read. The P ring is stuck. Also at a PS, also add a uh, purple plat ceramic skeleton uh, prop for long box of the damned. Thank you. I'm sorry, the ring is stuck. I'm working on it. You want to go put I got some... It. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just had to twist it. Okay, because it was like... Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Bop it. It fits on my pinky finger pretty well. Nice. But yeah, did I, I didn't get that big into Black Butler. I was into it for a while during like my height of being a weeb and being a goth. But yeah, it's like this is really good. I think I'm just gonna like straight up wear this like now and then. Yeah, pinky ring, I guess. I especially love like colorful stones, you know. Oh boy, there's a lot of comics here. Ooh, yay. Ah, from... I'm opening something from Amazon. John... Sorry, I'm reading this upside down. Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. John Nicer? Nielsen? I'm very sorry. It's, I'm, I'm reading this upside down here. John Nice. Thank you, John! Hey, Johnny! John K! John Johnny! A oh. bunch of comics that I will... It's ah. Common Writer Kuga. Oh, wow. Uh, it's a bunch of Impact comic stuff. Wow. You, we don't have any much of anything from that uh, yeah, that's publisher. A, that's a huge stack of Impact comics. I'm not going to throw show through all of this. Yeah, but... but uh, we got, like, The Web, The Fly. We don't have much the of that publisher in our collection. Yeah, so The Shield. Ah, let me see if the other one's there. Ah, there's a letter. Oh. This one was already open. Uh, dear Linkara, I used to watch your channel a lot, but to be honest, I've fallen out of it. Fix that. Oh my god. I do hope to catch up again, because I enjoy the storylines and always found you very entertaining. I apologize now for my handwriting. Actually, yours is fine. I hope this package finds you in good health and happy spirits. In all the time I did watch you, there was one set of comics I never remember hearing you mention, Impact Comics, a short-lived imprint from DC in the early 90s. I collect a lot of comics back then, and I enjoyed them. I remember a few characters from it surviving, being folded into the regular DC universe afterwards, but not many, I think. I've actually been curious about your thoughts about the various titles from the imprint. I haven't actually read very many of them. And when I decided to finally sell off most of my collection, I set aside all the Impact Comics I had with the uh, thought you might find some enjoyment out of them, and maybe get to hear your take on them. Yeah, maybe we will. Excuse me. Sorry for that run-on sentence. It sounded better in my head. I'll stop rambling for now and let you get on with the opening the rest of your fan mail. Best wishes and best of luck in the years to come. Yours sincerely, Jonathan Nispel, a.k.a. Space Furry. I understand... P.S. I, I understand you have trouble with the name. Well, as someone with a difficult last name, I get it. Uh, and, and sorry, I could read... I, I would have been able to read Nispel if it was right side up. <laughs> yeah, so we got a bunch of Impact comics here. Yep. Including this... Uh, 
Just who's who of comics for oh. the shield. I think I remember seeing the shield around. Oh. Is this the shield? I want to say this is the shield. I can't remember his name. He looks very similar to the shield. Oh, okay. Uh, Dear Lewis, the Thundercats comic is for you and the Sailor Moon Valentines are for Vega. Sincerely, Gabby G. Hmm. Thunder, 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 cats. I have never watched any of Thundercats. Neither did I, but that <clears throat> that opening is just baller. That is a baller opening. It's a, it's a banger. It's great animation. It's a banger. It's opening. a baller. It's a bully. I haven't, like, I didn't get into the show. I think because when it came out, well, I watched, it was actually reruns by the time I was old enough to know about it. But at the same time, I was like, eh, it's for boys, because when you're a kid, you're like that. Yeah. All right, I think I've got one more on my side. All right, here's a bunch. Yeah. Good, small ones. And we ones. got this big one here. It's an empty one, or is a letter that got squished? I don't know. It's just an envelope. Oh, and here's another letter. Ah. And I'm opening something from Epic Finds. I think it's a game. How epic is this find? Oh, sweet. Capcom Fighting Collection. Nice. What's included in the Capcom Fighting Collection? We got... I don't know. Oh, I see. Okay, so we got Darkstalkers. Nice. I haven't played that in years. Night Warriors, Vampire Hunter 2, Vampire Savior, Vampire Savior 2, Street Fighter 2, the Anniversary Edition, which I already have... Oh, Hyper, which I already have, um, like, separately... Red Earth, Gem, Super Gem Fighter, which I always want to play, Cyberbots, and Puzzle Fighter, Super Puzzle Fighter 2, Turbo, which I haven't uh, played before, but I always wanted to. So, yay! New Switch game! There you go. <laughs> Dear Linkara, I'm writing you again. The, the Switch stuff behind us. Ah. I'm writing to you again. I hope you get the reference there. I don't, I'm sorry. Where I have a suggestion for The Long Box of the Damned. Dear Morte, it's a story about men in bat suits, finances, hypnotism, fiancés, hypnotism, Austria-Hungary, vampires and werewolves, mad monks. It's called Batman vs. the Vampire or the Mad Monk. It's from Detective Comics 31 to 32 from 1939. If you do the comic, use DC Universe for the comic. Uh, I hope you can take this comic into consideration since it falls into the horror department. From Joker 1940. Thank you so much. There is a name on here. Uh, I cannot read that. I'm very sorry. A something. Um, a Denchuk? Yeah, very sorry about the pronunciation there. But thank you for the suggestion. I'll keep that in mind. Always good to have uh, some silver and golden age stuff in there for a long box, just uh, just for the sake of variety. Oh, what about that box? Did you do this? That no, big I, haven't box? Gotten it. I, I haven't done the big box yet. That was my oh, last okay. one. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're going to save the big box for last. I figured you can open another one of the small ones. Okay. This one's already open, and it's Alvin and the Chipmunks go to the movie Star Wreck. Yay. Ah! <laughs> Be enthusiastic, damn it! This took forever! What is it? It's one of the uh, rewards for uh, the MST3K Kickstarter. It's oh, the yay. King of Vision 3D glasses. Oh, yay! Keep your shipping costs lower. We were hoping to send all your Make More MSC3K physical rewards in single shipment. However, due to unavoidable COVID-related delays, some rewards will not be available uh, to send until early November 2022. It's 2023. <laughs> yep. To make sure you're ready for the premiere of The Mask 3D on October 28th, 2022, we're sending your 3D glasses now. I'm still waiting on a popcorn bucket that I think I got in there. Because mm. I was going to use that for the, long, for the uh, late night double feature set. Mm. So, if we don't have that, then... Well, I don't know if what happened to it, but not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. So I got my King of Vision 3D glasses for when I eventually get around to watching The Mask 3D. Yeah. So, even if you did it, you still got Clive glasses. Indeed. Which, oh, when he dresses up as Clive. Ah, you're so cute. This is from Right Stuff. You're so cute when you're Clive Lewis. I am aware. Ah, you just don't understand how I feel. Red and black is a very handsome combination. That being said, someday I want to make like a, uh, uh, turn into like a half-tone jacket, so like half red, half blue. Mm, that could be done. Yep, just need to actually sew it together. But in the meantime, from the right stoof anime, this is, actually, this is technically more me than you. I was expecting from an, an anime. No, this is, if I can get it out of the You want container. a cutty? No, I got it. You have two cutties. I know. This is a Blu-ray 
of Space Sheriff Gavin. Huh, yeah, that is more you. Yeah, Space Sheriff Gavin made an appearance in Power Rangers Beast Morphers because <laughs> they have the suits and it was and they had like the crossover footage or something like that. And they used that as like a like space cop who was hunting a bounty hunter oh. in, in, in Power Rangers. And it was not the worst. Wasn't it wasn't you know super best awesome ever, but it was it was fun. Yeah. Very Robocop inspired. Yeah. Alright, so we got uh, this is actually I'm throwing this away. That's, a, that's an envelope. This is the letter. So you got the big one left and I got a big one. Okay. Your big one's already open now, yep. so you might as well go. Yeah, by the way, again, a lot of these are, are, are opened not because of uh, uh, like, like we peaked, like I forget what this is. It was a matter of, ah, oh, nice. It was a matter of me looking for stuff that I had ordered. So this is all you. Yeah, Yoshi! I just posted yesterday during that meme on Twitter on, uh, quote, retreat this with two characters you think would be friends, and my answer was Yoshi and Yotsuba from Yotsuba, uh, to. <laughs> Got Lucario. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I think we already have a Lucario, but this one's really good quality. And feel we, those legs. Mm. And I am suddenly blanking Greninja. Ninja. Big Tongue Man. Big Tongue Water Starter from X and Y. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Now this one's a bit heavy, and it is from Cody Girling. All right, why don't you uh, cut that first, and then... uh. I already cut it. Well, okay, I didn't cut it all the way. All right, I'm going to cut this. Should I set this? Actually, you know what? I do have one more. I know. Actually, no. This is a this is a thing for us. It's like a Dave Willis uh, uh, Kickstarter comic. Oh, yay. Another Dumbing of Age thing, so we don't need to open that on stream. All right. But you should read Dumbing of Age, though. Yep. Promotion, Lou. Promote friends. I think he's probably more popular than me. He is, but it doesn't matter. All right. And this is all the way from the long... And now the cats are wrestling. Cat wrestling. You kids be nice. No, this is how they play, Lou. I know. As, unless someone's hissing, that's when I break them up. Now they heard the air escaping from this. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Cody has sent us a letter. I will read that letter right now. Do you even know how to knife? It's stuck. Knife. Oh my God. It's a... Oh! Oh! I get what this is. It's for markers, pens, and drawing supplies. Oh, nice. This is exactly what I need for conventions, which, too many games coming up, so meet me there. There you go. Oh, we got a long letter. Hi, Ellen Carr and Vega. Happy New Year of 2023 with a smaller thing that fell out here. I could always use more sketchbooks. Thank you so much. Hope it's treating you well so far. So far, things are good with me. This is the year I became an uncle to a cute niece. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. While I am feeling odd about it, especially with how quick they wished for uh, they wished for such and other reasons, I'm very happy for my brother and girlfriend of his, and that there's a wonderful baby girl in our lives now. A fair amount of good and bad, bad comics in this package, and just other gifts as well. So hopefully a real treat. Sorry for all the Ultimate Comics of Spider-Man, and I guess mm -hmm. just comics from the Marvel line of Ultimates to, altogether, since you don't really care about it. But I was really invested in it when I was collecting it, especially Ultimate Spider-Man, and was upset how they tried to kill everything and everyone in it off, despite Ultimate Marvel's glaring problems, especially what they did to Peter. But in fairness, without all that, we may not have gotten Miles Morales. At, or maybe we could have gotten there or was already a black Superman in Captain America without the death of the previous year to bring about. Also, offering my copies of One More Day. <laughs> oh. I collected originally back in the day since so it's terrible, and when you're mad, angry, rage, you can rip them apart or burn them. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. This is just really, really long, and I Ooh, am going to... I do to... want to read this. I flipped through this at the store, yeah. and I want to read it. Yay. Yep, and just to... Because, uh, yeah, to... Uh, I lost my place here. Yeah. Uh, Lots of Mark Miller here. You could definitely do a Mark yeah, Miller. Yeah, he mentions this. We're trying to get to find it. Further on with uh, comics, though, if is some Mark Ooh, Miller sweet. works. One crap and two others I like if some stuff I groaned at. Hopefully ending up on the show. Two for maybe a Miller time winky face. Wish I could have sent you some Garth Ennis books to review. Uh, <laughs> nice job tackling him finally, by the way. But there's only a few stuff of his I like and only so much I can send out. Also, a Star Trek book I'm not sure if you read yet by Chris Claremont and Adam Hughes that I hope will be enjoyable to read. There's the bundle of horror comics. Oh, thank you so much. Always love more horror comics for, for long box. Uh, there's a bundle of horror comics for Halloween and uh, long box of the damn to tell, especially a good one called Monstrosities that I'm happy to own as well from Kickstarter. Ooh. Yeah, Kickstarter stuff is harder to come by, so thank you for that. The ones who publish it, uh, Warden Comics are great people. Another Kickstarter project comic series I like. 
by awesome Russell Olson that I'm showing with you, Gateway City, a tale of 1920s aliens, gangsters, more often one and the same, and a talking bear. Yeah, Gateway City looks pretty cool. Both collected with other comics that I think you and Vigo will enjoy, like the second volume of manga, Apple Black. Yep, I as, only have the first one, so uh, thank you. As well as a neat and charming comic called Brave Chef Brianna, yeah. which I used to, which I need to find the collection of. Hopefully, Gateway City will be the comic that unites Dr. Link Sano and Harvey Fine Voice at last. With another, yes. hope you enjoy the, the artist pouch and little sketchbook for Vega. Yep, I do. Thank you. Hmm. It's just, I really did need an artist pouch. Thank you so much. And the cat yin and yang patch. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on something. I just don't know what yet. I hope you find a good use for them, and you all the very and wish you all the very best. Until next time, love, Cody. Sorry, cannot read this last name. Uh, Gowling, Girling. I'm sorry. Girling, I think. Yes. yes, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. All right, I think that's everything. Yep, it is. It's a lot of comics in this thing. Yep. A lot of Ultimate. A lot of Mark Millar. We have a lot of comics. More Mark Millar time. Hmm. I don't know. I just like it when you. I love your Miller Time episodes, and then you did a Miller Time once. And right, I just, right, just like, like very quickly Photoshop X out. Yes, and I thought it was. A. I thought it was a great episode. Did I do that in Comic Sans? I want to say I did that in Comic Sans. I just thought it was a good episode, <laughs> and now we. You got more. You got more Miller until you get that Miller uh, Wolverine thingy. Mm. But yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, thank you so much. And you guys have yourselves a... Great Christmas. Happy Merry Christmas, Vega. Merry Christmas, Louis. It's June. It's Pride Month. It's... it's Merry Pride-mas. Merry Pride-mas, Louis. <laughs>